A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 13th Feb. On the front page you have Pakistan jails Jamatul Dawa chief Afis Saeed for terror financing. So the Pakistan court has found Afis Saeed alleged mastermind of the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks that killed 166 people and injured hundreds more has been sentenced to jail for five and a half years on terror finance charges. So, Saeed is also a UN designated terrorist and head of Jamatud Dawa. So, he has been found guilty of being part of a banned terrorist outfit. So, here you can see he has earlier to be detained in, uh, from December 2001 till last in November 2017. So, there are 23 cases of terror financing registered by Pakistan's counter terrorism department against him. Then this is regarding our winning elections and uh, the cabinet as such uh, will be the same. They have decided to repeat the cabinet. Kejriwal will take oath as CM. And this is Puducherry House passes resolution against Citizenship Amendment Act. So after Kerala, Punjab, Rajasthan and West Bengal passed resolution against CA, now it is Puducherry Assembly which has adopted a resolution urging centre to repeal Citizenship Amendment Act. So here you can see the at a special session, Chief Minister of Puducherry spoke. You should remember Puducherry and Jammu and Kashmir are two union territories which have legislative assembly and chief ministers. They're actually, union territories, union territories don't have legislative body and they don't have chief ministers, but these two are exceptions, Delhi and Puducherry. So your Puducherry Chief Minister, you can see, he moved uh, the resolution and said CA along with plan to prepare a pan-India NRC and NPR would destroy India's unity and secular character. Then this is 25 ambassadors reach Srinagar on two-day visit. So uh, these are 25 foreign ambassadors. So they will meet locals, traders and politicians and see input on measures required to move ahead. So this is a government, uh, uh, government initiative which has been taken. Central government has asked outsiders, you know, ambassadors to come and visit Jammu and Kashmir to see firsthand. But Indian politicians have still not been, Indian officials have still not been allowed to make a visit. Then here you have Kerala imposes rupees 13 cap on bottled water. So government views current prices as exploitation of consumers and has have made bottled water an essential commodity. So the current retail price is rupees 20. So this is it. And this is Rohingya can't be kept in jail after serving term. So once Rohingya refugees complete their jail term, so they are refugees, they have illegally entered into the country, so they will be put in jail. So they will be put in jail for a particular term. So after the jail term is complete, you know, they cannot be kept in prison. So this is what Kolkata High Court says. So refugees will have to be taken to a safe place. And uh, this is what uh, even the lawyers of four Rohingya petitioners argue in the court. They, these are Rohingya Rohingyas who have completed their jail term in 2018, but they are still behind bars. Because what should be done with them? They have uh, they have illegally entered in the country. They can be cannot be sent back to uh, to Myanmar from where they came because they are facing persecution there. So India is not ready to accept them. They are Rohingyas. They are Muslims. On page 3 you have pleas in High Court challenge Central Vista project. So this is uh, the first major hurdle, legal hurdle for the redevelopment of the Central Vista project. So Delhi High Court has taken cognizance of two separate petitions which have raised common issues on the changes including land use changes that have been proposed by Delhi Development Authority for this redevelopment. So, court has issued notice to Centre and Delhi Development Authority seeking their response within two weeks. We have been discussing Central Vista quite often, so you should know about it by now. Central Vista is the, actually the long path from India Gate till Rashtrapati Bhavan. So, government, Central Government has proposed uh, redeveloping the entire stretch and having a new Parliament House built, the North and South Block, which house the ministries. So there will be new buildings erected for that. So it's a huge project worth lakhs of crores of money to be spent for it. 
the objection which is raised here is actually in this redevelopment project uh, around 200 to 300 crores have been spent on uh, and, uh, and has been given to an Ahmedabad based company to prepare a map, you know, a plan out the entire redevelopment. And in that, it is seen that land which is used, you know, land use has been changed. So, land which is there for public recreational purpose, you know, open spaces, they are being modified. This, this is as part of the Devi Delhi Development Authority plan. So, that is why now uh, courts have been approached on this change in land use. And High Court has given uh, two weeks time to the authorities to respond. On page four, you have High Court dismisses petition seeking voting rights for prisoners. So Delhi High Court says right to vote was only provided by a statute. So the petition has been rejected which sought writing voting rights for prisoners that they also have a right to cast vote. But court says that. Uh, this, this, their, this right of theirs was neither fundamental right nor a common law right and was only provided by a statute. On page 7 you have plan to cut Mumbai Delhi travel time to 12 hours. So, SN Railway's mission Raftar which is worth 4011 crore rupees is to convert the line into semi high speed corridor. So, this has been planned. You can see this is Mumbai Rajdhani, which takes 15.5 hours to cover 1384 kilometer distance between Mumbai Central and New Delhi. So this time has to be reduced to 12 hours now. So this is the plan in place. On page 8, you have CAC defaults fiscal probity of Kerala police in procurement. So Comptroller and Auditor General of India has faulted Kerala's state police chief for violating the statutory guidelines established to ensure fiscal probity in procurement of equipments for modernizing the force. So, it is said he violated guidelines. 25 incest rifles have not been accounted for. So, this is the finding by Comptroller and Auditor General of India. No separate account for modernization of police force scheme was there. Proceeds from vehicle auction have not been accounted for. There is shortage of staff. In forensic labs which has been highlighted there are luxury villas for spcs adgps using fund to build quarters for subordinate officers even luxury cars for officers are there instead of hardy vehicles for police work and uh, so such you know skewed vehicle procurement also uh, is being seen even violation of cbc central vigilance commission norms and store purchase guidelines in procurement are evident Unauthorized purchase of bulletproof vehicles for VVIP use has come to the fore. 25 assault rifles, the uh, rounds have not been accounted for. So, there are 1261 rounds, 12,061 rounds, which have not been accounted for. And even police is attempting cover up using dummy ammunition. On page 9, you have LPG refill price hiked by up to Rs. 149. So, the price of non-subsidized LPG refill cylinders weighing 14.2 kg has been increased by 144.5 and 149 rupees. So, this is the steepest since Jan 2014. So, prices have increased. You can see, so in Delhi, the price as such has increased from 714 to 858.5 rupees. And subsidy is provided in LPG, it is direct benefit transfer provided, means the beneficiaries would also buy the cylinder at market price and then they would be paid a certain subsidy amount. So the subsidy which is provided to domestic users, it was of 153.86 rupees per cylinder. So the cylinder is not provided for free, it is at a subsidized price. So price uh, subsidy amount is 153.86 per cylinder. So, this subsidy amount has been increased from 153 to 291. In Jan 2014, the prices have gone up by 220 rupees as such. But subsidy which is provided under Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana has been increased from 174 to just 312 rupees per cylinder. So, prices went, uh, prices have increased by 220 rupees but uh, you can see the subsidy has increased uh, at a lower rate. So, here you can see it is around 138 rupees of subsidy amount increasing while price increases of 
220 rupees. So percentage of subsidy provided, of course, has reduced. Then below you have bill to regulate pesticide business gets green light. So Union Cabinet has approved Pesticide Management Bill 2020, which the government claims will regulate the business of pesticides and compensate farmers in case of losses from the use of spruceous agrochemicals. So the draft bill raises penalties on sellers of spruceous pesticides. Then this is Cabinet Clears Major Ports Authority Bill. So this is a bill which has been approved by the cabinet, which will be introduced in the parliament. So this is a bill will re, which will replace the earlier regulation on major ports authority, which is a 1963 law. There are 12 major ports in the country, both on east and west coast com combined. So the disputes with private companies and public private partnership operators had been coming up. So existing law had no prov provision to deal with them. That is why the central government says this new law has been formulated to improve infrastructure there as well. And this is a child cannot be put behind bars, rule Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court has made it clear that for the police, that they have no right to detain children in conflict with law in lockup or jail. So a juvenile in conflict of law, if apprehended, has to be placed immediately under the care of the special juvenile police unit or a designated child welfare officer. Supreme Court says that the child has to be produced before the juvenile justice board and the, once the child is produced, then bail is the rule. And if in some case bail cannot be provided, still they cannot be put behind bars. So this is actually a case which has come uh, on children who have been detained in connection with protests against citizenship on Movement Act. So police has issued notice to UP and Delhi commissions for protection of child rights and directed them to file their response within three weeks. On the editorial page, the first editorial is birds of a feather. So it says India cannot peg its strategic plans on the chemistry between Trump and Modi. So how India and India would have its strategy developed you know, with respect to defense and other aspects. So that should not depend on the gone homey between the leaders of the two countries. So that is spoken of here, you can see. So we are procuring defense equipment also from USA. Like we discussed about the air defense system yesterday. Then this is winner for the waiting for the winner. So this is regarding Ireland elections. So the results which have come up and have thrown up no definite winner, opening up the possibility of a churn. So who would finally form the government in Ireland? That is it. The lead article is Trump's March and the Sanders factor. So the US president's tenure and its baggage have given a new meaning to the term American exceptionalism is what this article talks of. So he has been, President Trump has been uh, impeached in the lower house, but it cannot be passed in the Senate. So he escaped impeachment as such. And this is nutrition and the budget's fine print. So uh, it's, this article says that while there are well-equipped schemes to address malnutrition, Funding and policy gaps are problem areas. So this talks, talks about national food security mission and how the union budget has dealt with it. On opet page you have, in Kashmir, abnormal is the new normal. So placing senior leaders under detention robs them of the opportunity of querying the normalcy pitch. So uh, you can see. Even US and uh, even foreign diplomats have been allowed to visit Jammu and Kashmir. So, this is uh, trying to show that there is normalcy here. But when leaders, you know, former chief ministers, are behind bars, then the claims sound hollow. Then, on page 12, you have alternative routes to Shahin Bagh Shat. So, Bhim Army Chief Chandrasekhar Azad and India's first Chief Information Commissioner Vajat Habibullah have told the Supreme Court that alternative routes through Shahin Bagh have been deliberately shut to disrupt traffic and to, uh, to and from Delhi, Noida and Faridabad. So, this is to file pressure on protesters. It is argued that this has been done by the Delhi police in, on the instructions of the Union Home Ministry. And then below you have 
Rajya Sabha records 96% productivity. So Rajya Sabha has lost 96 minutes in uh, nine sittings in the first phase of the budget session. Uh, so overall productivity comes to 96%. So, you know, 155 members got to a chance to speak in a largely disruption-free session. Only, so there were nine sittings and overall only 96 minutes were lost in Rajasthan. On page 13, you have CIA, that is Central Investigation Agency of USA, spied through Swiss encryption firm. So, this is company, Swiss encryption firm was trusted by governments all over the world. This is Crypto AG, which specializes in communication and information security. So, now encrypted messages of several countries, including India, for decades have been uh, spied as such on through CIA. So, this Swiss-based company, trusted by governments uh, to keep the communications of their spies, soldiers and diplomats secret, has uh, leaked them to CIA. So, Crypto AG entered into a deal with US Central Intelligence Agency in 1951 and came under its ownership in the 1970s. So, this has now been, has come to the fore. On international page, you have China's virus cases fall, but toll hits 1,130. So, though China has reported lowest number of new cases now, and the spread is stabilizing, still the death toll is already 1,130. And below, and you should know that new coronavirus has already been declared by China as a public health emergency of international concern. Below you have World Health Organization to decide on emergency status of Ebola in Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. So Ebola again was a cause of concern. It had already been declared by World Health Organization in July 2018 as a public health emergency of international concern. So, such a designation as seen in the new coronavirus case also presently gives World Health Organization greater powers to restrict travel and boost funding. So, the outbreak first recognized in August has since killed more than 2,300 people in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Then, on business page, you have inflation climbs, industrial output contracts yet again. So, retail inflation has climbed to an almost six-year high of 7.59%, almost 8%. And industrial output has contracted, IIP. And this is direct tax bill to include DRTs in AMBIT. So, that is debt recovery tribunals. So, Union Cabinet has approved changes in direct tax, Vivatse Vishwas Bill 2020, with a view to increase its scope to cover litigation pending in various debt recovery tribunals too. So, this bill has been introduced in Lok Sabha in this month itself. And next is three PSU insurers to get 2500 crores from government. So, this capital infusion has been okayed by the central cabinet. So, these three PSU insurance companies are Oriental Insurance Company, National Insurance Company and United India Insurance Company. So, the same principle approval has been given to infuse capital as such. So, you can see this is in light of the critical financial position and breach of regulatory solvency requirements of the three PSU insurers. So, these three are also proposed to be merged into a single insurance entity and then listed. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website, ashr.com. Thank you.